Now we're just doing some shopping, bits and bobs for the pad. Okay. You know that guy? He's just friendly, aren't he? What else? I don't know who he is. What did you do to him? Oh. I'm friendly, what can I say? I'm friendly. If I see you out, I'm friendly. That, that song, I'm different. Eh? Watch it, Ollie, watch it. Watch. Two chins. I'm different. You know, I say that again, wearing shirts and you're actually not different because everyone does it every year. Right, wait on. Get this wait, out, wait, I want to get my list. Alright. Oh, I'd love some Pringles. All oh, this junk. Oh. No. No. Oh yes, it's trolley time. Yeah, you can check the vlog out, I need to get the list out. Harris, where are we at? We're going to heckle people when you heckle when you trim. Very slick, by the way. I'm very tired. Because he flew to Thailand. Flew, uh, I had a flight back from Bangkok uh -huh. to Abu Dhabi through last night. And I landed early this morning, I haven't slept since, apart from like 10, 15 minutes in a taxi when I couldn't help myself. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, forget that, you'll be fine tonight when you get sleeping. Lounge. But we're at Seed Lounge here. This is a big place. Hello. How are you? You all right? Thank you. Ahmad. Welcome, Zainab, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet uh, can you. I have t uh, can we sit in one of these uh, huts, the booth? The booth? Yeah, no thank you. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Do you think all these nice in it? Spartan? Yeah. Naomi. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Naomi. I, I can order straight away. I know what I'm going to order. C oh, can, okay. I, can I order already straight away? What about me? Well, <laughs> you, you, I know what you're going to want, so just choose anyway, whatever. Can, right. I, can I order one grape mint shisha, please? One grape mint, uh, grape mint shisha? Yes, please. Uh, uh, one big bottle of water. Okay. Two, two Diet Cokes. Two Diet Cokes. One big bottle of water. And uh, can I order two falafel? On, on, on a plate. On a plate? Yeah, no, uh, not, not a sandwich, on a plate. So uh, uh, two falafel, one halloumi grilled cheese. Poison? One halloumi grilled cheese. One halloumi grilled cheese? Yeah. Okay. And do you want to say with me? Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, right. Two mixed grill. Two mixed grill. Yeah, this is the main course, yeah? Yeah. Yes, perfect, thank you. Delicious. And one. <laughs> Best be, as soon as I can't even look at the menu. You'll like it, just me. And one water. Is uh, is uh, Abdul working tonight, Shisha? Abdul. Abdul. Abdul Rahim. Yeah, it's Mr. Okay, Sorry good, good. Me. He's a good so, guy. One mix Shisha, two diet pork, two palapil, uh, two palapil, one yeah. grilled alumi, and two mixed grilled. Yes. Boom. Say, say boom. 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 <laughs> That's it. Oh, yalla yalla. She must want to kill you right now because sometimes, like. From a Bangkok flight when we were boarding, me and one of the cabin crew was stood talking about a passenger who we thought was drunk, and he was. Not uh, drunk, am I? No, but then some woman was like getting a camera out and taking a photo of us, and we were stood there chatting like, we don't want. Obviously, Etihad is so strict. Like even if you have the wrong shade of red on your lips, or you have one chip nail, or a mark on your uniform then <laughs> so you don't really want any pictures taken of you because you don't know what will happen to you. Yeah, yeah. So you or if you stood you there like out? this like that for two seconds no but we're just like quick walk away wouldn't we yeah, yeah. we walked away so she couldn't really get one hey. Abdul Rahim are you doing you okay fine grip mint yeah And again, and again. Don't again, don't again. One, two, three. Oh. 
And again, close up, close up. One, two. No, second, second, close up. Okay. One, two, three, four. No copying. <laughs> Here he is. He's the boy. Exactly the same time as we didn't vlog it. Uh, Abdul Rahim, Shishaman. Shishaman. Bye, <laughs> guys. Let me take a talk of this bad boy. Let's see, let's see. I'm again, bro. Nice, thank you. Pretty good service, eh? Very good service. Put, put a cushion here, Molly. Leave that one out. Why are you sitting there? Doing like this. this is how we do it, mate. These hooks are cool, aren't they? Little hooks. Cute. What's going on? Yalla yalla. Talk about something. So, tomorrow is Friday. Must be. Jump in the mass. Yep. Morgan lied to you. I missed a couple of weeks. I've been, I've been filming. Or, or I've got loads of meetings booked up and stuff. So, taking time out has been very difficult. But I don't like missing it. I feel bad. I don't know if other, other Muslims feel bad. When they don't go to Friday Tell first. them that bad things happen. Yeah. I don't know if you, it's all in my mind, but whenever whenever I don't go to Moscow Friday, I feel like bad things happen or I've got a bad... Um, what's that word? Bad. Like a, not like a jinx, like that kind of thing. You know, yeah. I'm jinxed. If I don't go to Moscow, I feel like I'm jinxed. So if, if I've got a flight around the same time, I'm definitely going to go to Moscow because my flight is good, honestly. You know what I mean? I've got to be, I've got to be on, on point. It's so, all right. Etihad always say, Bismillah, Hiramah, Nirahim. <laughs> I think uh, on the piers they say shukran lakum. Thank you. Thank you. Never walked on it here. Thank you. So have this afterwards, yeah? Thanks. Okay, on oh, the sorry, piers they say something along the lines of shukran lakum. I think that might mean thank you very much. Must be Arabic for shukran, thank you. So after, after a meal. If anybody knows, let us know. Yeah. Shukran lakum. After our meal, Something we're going like to, uh, uh, we're going to go to the caviar. My boy Johnny, he's got his night on tonight, so we're going to go show some love. Me and Holly going to go show some love. Harris's way of bribing me to go was, it's all right, we'll get a few seven-ups. Drinks with the boys. Drinking with the boys. Shisha? Won't mind. Oh yes. I hope food can wait. It's 8pm. Uh, the last thing I ate was at about quarter past 11 at the bowl of cereal. They're very quick over here, don't worry about it. See how fast you bought the shisha? Well quick. Usually hours? Yeah, but seed lounge is the the bomb diggity diggity doom down in it, so. Oh. Seen the ballers that come here, so. Got the See the cars outside? Got the See cars outside? Unbelievable cars. That monster that we saw. Black and white. Oh, I saw a spider. When? Crawling. Crawling <laughs> <laughs> in entrance. Yeah. Alright, so the food here now, people. We're gonna get Holly to try some now. Holly, try the uh, falafel first, go on. Alright. Well, tell me about it. Is it a green sauce? Very nice sauce. Avocado, I think. Don't know, it's just nice, I don't know. Well, oh, tuck in. Alright, give me a chance. Mm. Go on. Yeah, go on. Well, I think I've only had falafels twice in my life. And I'm really keen on them. These are very nice, so that's saying something. And stop, stop that for one second and try a little bit of cheese. Just put the whole thing in your mouth, go on. 
Boom. Eh? Boom. Say it. Boom. Normally we're pulling with cheese. You don't really get the taste so you have to eat food it a little bit. Yeah. Second that goes in your mouth, you can taste it. Definitely. Now I'm gonna cut the vlog camera because I'm, I'm, I wanna dig in, bro. I wanna dig in. All right, safe. Using your cough. Oh, monkeys. Hands in, mate, hands in. Right, I'm having it. Like barbecue and all. Where? Oh no. Matt off. Tomato. Should have been barbecue, especially for a mixed grill. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This food is banging. Some places are too slow. Well, this place is actually too fast, right? There's no like half medium. This is either too slow or too fast, and this place is too fast. If you don't finish your start, I'm probably doing the main course over. The shisha, I ordered it. Before I finished what I was saying, they brought it over. Then the start came straight away, so we didn't really touch it. Yeah, shisha has been too. Yeah, the main came for we didn't start. Yeah, I've still got my starter here. This is one of the apples here. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to cut the camera off now because it's going to be too long the vlog. Put it back on in a bit when we get out of here. You Big don't love. want to watch us sloppy. Yeah, <laughs> Big love. Please tell Harris you're not supposed to hit dogs when they do something wrong. Or puppies. I've done a lot of rooting. You know what, yeah, with, with Rottweilers. You don't. And he's beating the crap out of Pop no, and he's crying his eyes out. And even when Harris comes home, he hides under the coffee table because he's scared of him. No, I'm not, I don't beat the couple of him, right? Yes, you do. You whacked him on his nose and he cried for rage. Yeah, but right, listen, the dog's a Rottweiler. He's not a flipping, he's not a flipping Yorkshire Terrier. He's also puppies eight week old. Yeah, he's not a Yorkshire Terrier, right? You were a baby once. We, can I talk for one second? Right, he's, he's a Rottweiler. You were a Rottweiler. Holy, shut up. He's not a Rottweiler, he's a Yorkshire Terrier, right? What? He's not, he's not a <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna talk. I thought you were small. Listen. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's a Rottweiler. He's a, he's, he's, listen, he's a he's a Rottweiler by you know he's a, he's a he's a big he's gonna be a big mean rough dog if you don't teach him now right now he's only a puppy but I've seen tendencies in him where he gets aggressive really easily he snaps and he bites me and Holly right and even though he's only a little small puppy give it give it two three months and he's be he'll be a big growing Rottweiler a big big dog right when he's fully grown he's gonna be probably bigger than me and Holly right. So if we let him just do what he wants now and bites and runs around and does what he wants, then as he gets bigger, he's going to think it's all right to do it. So it's all right to bite people. It's all right to bark and to growl and to get aggressive. So today, 
I was, I was, you know, look after him and doing whatever. And he turned and he growled and he bit me in the hand there. Like, bit me as hard as he could. Bit me. Not like, reason why he bit. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Then you can talk, right? He didn't do it as in like a little playful nibble or a little puppy little. Uh, a proper like he snarled and turned and I saw his teeth <laughs> like that and he bit the shit out of my hand. So I grabbed him and I gave him a whack on the nose. Not a hard whack. Not like a, not a hard hard whack, but a whack on the nose, end of the nose, right? And he, he cried, right? He made See it, what he did? Ah! Uh, made like a screaming noise, right? Twice. Twice, yeah. Now, I'm not, I'm not a flipping dog beater. I'm not a woman beater. I'm not, not, not kind of beater. But when a dog, my dog, Rottweiler, well, spins around, not, snarls at me, and bites me in the hand, that shows me that that's, that's not, that's got to be nipped, nipped in the bud. It's got to be stopped as soon as I see it. I give it a little whack. Right now he cried. So because he cried and, and, he, and he, got, he got scared and he was, you know, hurt, or whatever. I felt bad then, right? Because it showed that he, he was a puppy. But from that split second that I saw the Rottweiler come out and the, and the meanness come out, I had to stop it as soon as I could. So I gave him a little slap, but I won't hit him no more. You alright? Good. Good, right. good. Good. You're good, yeah. Uh, so. The reason why he's hitting that is not just a vicious dog, you have a reason. So. You're not allowed to put dogs in cats in here. And at the minute, because he's small, we can sneak him in, we put him inside the bag, and we'll probably see that on Facebook. We've got Louis luggage. Yeah, Louis luggage. We'll put him inside a bag and sneak him in the taxi. So we can get him ready to put him in the bag to go in the taxi. He zipped the bag off and he didn't like it, he wanted to get out. And he was just rustling around for him, he's trying to get out. Obviously, we wouldn't let him out. I, I was at the mouth. I was at the mouth. to let him out. And as he did it, he went. Probably hard, I'm talking about hard bite. Like, Can you imagine such sharp teeth? Very good. Yeah. Not I'm not gonna hit no more, but he's got to he's got to learn that he can't be doing this shit man. I'm glad you learned. When Harris Harris then he said, I'm not taking him out anymore. I'm gonna take him to go to nothing. Yeah, good yeah. So he decided to feed boss at home with me. And when Harry came back home, he went to say sorry for boss. Boss petrified it. He hid under the cabinet and went. Not petrified, you just think they wouldn't do it again, that's all. They've kissed and made up now. Harry's also told me he didn't. He wishes he never had him. He wants to sell him on eBay and he hates him. When I get pissed off, I, I say things I don't mean, right? The dog. that to me as well. <laughs> yes, I know on eBay. People buy it. Right, the dog. Soon send me back for the refunds. Yeah, which would be nice. She's like a lot of as well. I am not. You are. Why are you used to come with Fucking dare you. Well, you always want to run a lot of puppies down. That's even doing something, right? Ah, oh, sure. So anyway, this dog is a, is, a, is a good dog, right? But he's a puppy and he's, he's getting bad tendencies. Bad tendencies where he spins, spins around, he bites you. He bites Holly loads of times, and Holly's like, No, boss, behave. No, I no, said, boy. No. Really yeah, and he, he looks at him and goes, Shut up. He starts doing it again. When I whack him, he runs off and hides. So, obviously, hitting does work to an extent. But well, then he does it again, and Yeah, but if you, if you keep doing it, if you keep repetitive, telling them off, they give him a little clip, you'll learn. But not anymore, please. Alright. Too fragile. I just, I just don't want a 15 stone Rottweiler on my hands trying to bite me and trying to be, trying to be like the, bo the boss. We gave him the wrong name. We call him boss. Now he thinks he's the boss. He ain't, I'm the boss, right? She's, she's co-boss. She's co-boss. I'm the boss. An intelligent woman lets the man think he's the boss. She's the boss. She is. I'm done now. No, you are, you, you are the boss. Yeah. Get your water, it's going into freaking stellar mode, look at that. But it's right now. <laughs> anyway, people, anyway. Thanks for watching, yeah. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. It's not over yet. And I've, I've got to thank them. Thank them as well. Thanks, guys. Although, I'm still not friends with you because you didn't get me enough likes on the makeup video. Yeah, no makeup for me, man. Thank you very much. I, if you got 500 likes on that bad boy, I would have done it, but I think we're only on like 100 likes now. Not so, even that. Not even that, so. People, people must not want to see me make up, thank God for that. Oh 
happens here. One day. One day. I got some nice comments. We got some nice comments on the video. Make it yeah, saying like, oh, we love this, it's very funny and stuff. When we filmed it, we thought it was just standard, like whatever. I've seen them online already. Uh, my husband does the makeup tag all kind of shit. I was like, well, let's do one. you got to get with like the flow of things, you know, people doing things. Like this flipping um, Harlem Shake video. I won't do one personally, but I shot one for the Vice Ring Hotel. Because these are the big things that go viral, you know, you've got to do the viral videos as well, get some more people involved in, you know, in your, in your channel and stuff, get your awareness out there, and promote yourself, etc, etc, etc. So this makeup video is going everywhere at the minute. So I thought, Holly, what, what, what are you saying? You up for it? I watched it. I didn't expect you up for it. So I did it, and then people, I, I thought it was standard. I didn't think it was funny to do. Hey, what's funny? But they, people loved it, man. People loving it every day. The comments saying, "Oh, well, funny this and that." I'm like, nice one, works. And I get like, I got like, like new friends on my. Uh, Facebook and Twitter and everything straight away, part of the team of the day on, on it, you know, people I don't even know. So obviously I'm reaching good people here. Oh, by the way, if you want to add me on my personal BBM, you can do. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that now. Team FD, if, if you're supporting me and you're part of Team FD and you know, you're, you're always watching the vlogs and you're part of the life and everything, add me on BBM, my personal BBM. I'll chat to you, I'm a humble guy. Uh, my BBM is 22CBBF7F. Again, 22CBB. F7F. So if you want to, yeah, if you want to add me on that and chat to me, I'll chat to you, no worries. And then, you know, I promote stuff on there as well. Follow me on Twitter, at FNDTV. Both me and Holly are both on that Twitter, so we can both provide to you whenever we want. We're both on the same Twitter, she's got her own app on as well. Uh, like the Facebook page, uh, Facebook forward slash FNDTV. And of course, subscribe to this channel and the uh, youtube.com forward slash fndtv channel which is the main channel which I put all my videos on all, all like you know the professional videos and the videos for clients and stuff so yeah just stay connected and uh, also last, lastly go on www.fnd.ae that's the website I'll be up in it a matter of weeks months really really soon we're just finishing off the design and everything I've got my designer on it and it's looking really good uh, so just get on there and register to the website so you'll have uh, an email every every month with regular updates, video links, all that kind of stuff and also uh, you can download the brochure on there as well, the brochure is finished now that's going all over the Middle East, all the clubs, all the hotels, all everywhere and you can have a look at that and check it out, it's a good brochure that, it's a very nice design, I like it a lot Not a brochure, brochure Brochure Check it out so yeah, I'm going to put the camera off now, uh, we're going to go straight over to, uh, to Pearls and Caviar, check out my boys night and I'll vlog a little bit there as well, and then uh, I'll pop to see Boss, and then that's it for us for today's vlog. small venue and how many people have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> maybe another 30 in the corner, 33 people and two FND acts. What are you saying bro? Not bad that is it, two FND hats and an FND police exclusive. <laughs> yeah. okay. Good boy, good boy, come on, go on, you walk now, lead. Lead me, walk where you want to go, go on. That's it, good boy. Good boy. Eh? Come on, come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where you going? What do you want? What do you want? What's that? What's that? You take a shit, yeah? Take a shit. 
Take a big shit. Make sure you subscribe to uh, YouTube forward slash FNDTV. And also please subscribe to uh, YouTube forward slash my Abu Dhabi Life. Uh, follow at FNDTV on Twitter. Get yourself on www.fnd.ae. Register to the website and you'll get some emails every month. An email and we'll get new video links, information, updates, any, any new uh, information and competition and prizes, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, just stay in the loop and whatnot. You know, like the, uh, the Facebook group, uh, Facebook forward slash FNDTV. That's the one. Get involved, stay connected, and uh, yeah, please, all of you who support me, make sure you do this. All of what I just mentioned because I want to have you all, I want to have you all in one place, all my supporters, all my, you know, all my uh, followers, you know, uh, Team FND, hashtag Team FND, all in one place, all connected, and um, you know, so I can contact you all easily and efficiently and you all see the videos you all see the videos that I release straight away so yeah please do that it would mean a lot to me to do that to take time out to just uh, just click a few buttons and whatnot and do what you got to do and as I said tonight I'm going to be at the Revive Me Hotel Rush Night Club for the launch of Head Candy it's a big night uh, and yeah that's about it tonight, bro. Uh, Absolutely exhausted people. Not had much sleep since we got the dog. I'm up every morning at like 4 or 5 a.m. Oh, Holly, I am. Every morning. No, I am. It's not 4 a.m. Holly, for the first fucking. For the first. Not when you're here, but when you're gone, I am. Oh. Alright, alright, let me rephrase that. Holly had a big got me as usual. Oh, zip it. Basically, for the first week I we had him, Holly fucked off to Thailand or Morocco, was it? Morocco. Yeah. So when we first got him, Holly went to Morocco for, for, for work. And I was up at 4 a.m. with him because he was a brand new puppy in the environment and all that kind of stuff. He was up at 4 a.m. And since then, for the first week it was 4 a.m. And this is the second week now, I've been up at like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. every morning. Now, this is the person who's usually up at about 11, 12 if not later in the afternoon. I don't sleep till late anyway, like 3, 4, 5 in the morning. So, uh, I've not had much sleep recently. I mean, it's not a big deal really, I'm young. You know, sleep isn't really a big thing. But, you know, it's starting to de deteriorate me a little bit. And I can tell that I need some uh, sleep big time. Uh, and I need to drink more, more water as well. I'm not drinking much water. Been drinking the, uh, the fizzy drinks again, like you know, I mean, diet fizzy drinks, but still fizzy drinks. Diet Coke, diet Seven Ups, diet Sprite, the juices, but not much water to be honest with you. I've got a fridge full of water bottles, man. So I'm just start drinking two or three a day, like these two. Anyway, people, big love, yeah, big big love, big love, fucking just that. This and that. That's not for you support people, honestly. Honestly, words can't describe. Your support is priceless. Your support means everything to me. Without your support, your tweets, your messages on Facebook, your views on the YouTube channels, I'd be nothing. I'd be nowhere. So, big up yourself. Big up yourself, rude boy. I'm going to put this camera up now. 
it's just an addition to the uh, one of the vlogs. Don't know which one's gonna go on. Probably this one I'm editing right now. Oh, big up yourself, you boy. Um, Sniff and D. Boom.